it's not unusual to hear someone saying that they are doing a 5x5 training program. And there are a few well-known 5x5 training programs out there, like Mad Cow, and of course the very popular Stronglist 5x5 training program. Basically all that a 5x5 means is that you're doing 5 sets of 5 reps of any given exercise. Today we're going to take a look at the history of this style of training, going all the way back to the original 5x5 training program, or at least as far back as I could find a complete program, which turns out to be from the 1930s. By taking a closer look at the history, we can get some training ideas for ourselves and even help us decide if this style of training is right for us, so that we can get fit and build muscle no matter what our age. We'll compare these older programs to the Stronglift system, which is a very basic, easy to follow plan based on five compound movements, the squat, bench press, shoulder press, barbell row and deadlift. It is a full body workout done three times a week. The 1930s program was designed by Mark Berry, who was the first Olympic weightlifting coach for the US, coaching the weightlifting teams for the 1932 and 1936 Olympic Games. Also at the 1936 Games was a young man named John Gremick, who went on to be a well-known bodybuilder trained by Mark. Mark Berry's program is broken into three different phases or stages much like Reg Park's 5x5 plan, who is a three-time Mr. Universe winner and one of the bodybuilders that inspired Arnold Schwarzenegger. But we'll talk more about his program in a bit. The final stage of Mark Berry's program was the only true 5x5 portion of his plan. It is a full body workout with a total of 11 exercises. Contrast that with the modern day Stronglifts program, which while still a full body workout, has only three different exercises per workout less than a third of the overall volume. Now some have criticized the Stronglist program as not having enough volume, but with Mark's, I would say the volume is definitely excessive, with the other phases having even more volume. You would practically have to live in the gym in order to get his workout done. The first stage of Reg Park's workout plan more closely mirrors that of the Stronglist. As I mentioned earlier, the Stronglist plan has only three exercises per workout, with an A and a B workout, that alternate every other training session, with at least one rest day in between. So one week, the A workout would be done twice and the B once. Then the next week, the B workout would be done twice and the A once. Reg Park workout is also done three times a week, with a total of four exercises, the main three being squat, bench press, and deadlift. These three were done as five sets of five reps. The fourth exercise was hyperextensions, which was done as three sets of 10. Now the Stronglifts A workout consists of the squat, bench press, and barbell row, with the B workout being squat, overhead press, and deadlift. So both plans have squats every workout. One of the differences is with the warm-up sets. The first two sets of Reg's plan were warm-up sets, with the last three sets being your working sets. Stronglifts has all five sets being your working sets, and your warm-up sets are done in addition to this. Stronglifts has an interesting way of deciding what your working weight will be. If you know what the maximum amount of weight is that you can do for 5 reps, then you would start with 50% of that weight and slowly increase the weight by the smallest increment possible each workout until you eventually surpass your old max weight. You can use these first lighter workouts to work on perfecting your form and getting used to the movement. If you don't know what your 5 rep max is, then they suggest starting light and slowly adding weight each workout as it adds up fast and you'll eventually find your five rep max. Well, the theory is that you'll slowly keep adding weight to the bar forever. The reality is eventually you'll hit a plateau and you'll need to make a change. The first thing you should do is take more rest time in between sets to help you more fully recover. Then if by the third workout you still haven't progressed, they suggest you do a deload but only on the exercise you're no longer progressing on. On that exercise, cut back the weight by 10%, then slowly start to work your way back up again. With Reg Park's program, the initial phase, which most closely matches the Stronglist program, is only one piece of a much larger plan, with each phase being three months long. After this initial phase, he would start to increase the volume of the workout by adding in more exercises. The exercises he would include would depend on whether you're wanting to do an Olympic lifting program or a bodybuilding program. And this is where a 5x5 Stronglist program works best, as a program for beginners or intermediate lifters 
who want to build their strength foundation to prepare themselves for more advanced programs so that they can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.